watch them commit to the schools of their choice to play in their sports at the next level. Before we begin, Mr. Arden, we would like to say a few words. Good morning, everybody. Great to see you. Great turnout. Welcome to the 2023 St. John's School Athletic Commitment Ceremony. Today we recognize 21 Maverick athletes who have made the decision to continue their playing career at the college of their choice. Committing to their college to compete is the culmination of a long and demanding recruiting process. Success is only possible through the hard work of the athlete, along with the unwavering support of parents and families. Dedicated coaches are directly involved behind the scenes advocating the strengths of their athletes. Teammates and friends remain supportive when a prospect is not quite sure where the process is headed. The athletic department extends to all of you our sincere congratulations. We are confident that you will remain true to our motto of not without honor by conducting yourself in a very honorable way, both in the classroom and in competition. We wish you every success as you begin your college career in the fall. Before beginning the ceremony, I want to, if you could join me in thanking Coach Halligan, our athletic de department recruiting liaison for all of the work. You, you can't imagine the work. She even made banners this year, I believe, right, Coach? So thank you, Coach <laughs> Talk about service to St. John's. Our MC today is the voice of the Mavs, Coach Stoney Whitmore. Coach Whitmore, believe it or not, is completing, I think this is correct, Coach, his 40, 41st year of service to St. John's School. Please join me in welcoming Coach Whitmore and congratulating him. John's 
Hopkins University. Coach Cones' quote is, 
Your hard work, your dedication, commitment, and development within our program has made a huge impact on your coaches and your teammates. Your smile, your can-do attitude, and willingness have made your teammates to get out of your back will serve you as well as you continue your journey forward. Dean Davis. Well, I'd like to thank everyone who has helped me get this far, uh, including Coach Cone. I know he's had to put up with a lot, but um, I appreciate him, my teammates, who have been practicing all the time, and especially my family. Without my father putting a stick in my hand, I never would have gotten here and played this for that level. Ariana Doss, headed to MIT in soccer. soccer and track and field. Ariana earned all SBC and was the soccer team's leading scorer the past two seasons and was named this year's MVP. A member of track's record setting 400 meter and Swedish relay teams, Ari kept off her, capped off her Maverick track career this weekend with SBC honors in both the 400 and the 400 relay. Quoting Coach Mirzba, Ariana is a force to reckon with on and off the pitch. I can say with 100% confidence that she is one of the most responsible individuals that I know. No doubt, she will crush it at MIT. Ariana.
mother, my grandparents for supporting me. Thank you to my teammates and my friends. And lastly, my coaches, Kato, Coach Elliot, Maddie, Tina, and Adam. Thank you for pushing me. I would not be where I am today. Top three finisher in multiple events at South Zone, 
and SBC meets throughout his four-year career as a member. High Point Award winner his junior year and MVP his senior year. Warren graduates with a school record in the 400 relay and SBC South Zone records in both the 200 and 400 relays. Quoting Coach Miller, Warren embodies what it means to be a St. John's student athlete both in and out of the pool. Characteristics such as hardworking, positive, unselfish, and humble are just a few of the attributes he bought, brought to the pool and to this team daily. Warren. I'd like to thank my coaches, my friends for uh, all supporting me, and also my family for helping me get where I am today. So thank you, go Mets. Here's Leverett. Brown University football. A two-year, two-sport varsity letter winner in basketball and football, Pierce was an Ironman nominee for the Touchdown Club of Houston, as well as preseason all-private school football team selection. Prior to being injured this season, he had 10 catches, two touchdowns, a two-point conversion, and a crowd-pleasing sack. What in Coach Belcher? The thing I admire most is Pierce's ability to be resilient. No matter what was thrown at him, he stuck with it and came out even better on the other side. Pierce Levin. So first, I, I, I'd like to thank my uh, parents. Uh, whether it's on football or basketball, they were at every game and super supportive, so I thank them. That's my coaches, Coach Valtteri, Coach Campbell, Coach Malone, Coach Baker. Um, I didn't even start playing football, uh, I, I, I didn't even start playing until my junior year, so I had a lot to learn. Um, but they were very patient with me and taught me everything, so I thank them. And lastly, the, the, the trainers. Um, I've been injured a few times, but they always have a great attitude and they're super helpful, so I thank them too. Thank you. Margo Manning. Gator Manning. Volleyball. Who did to see you on TV, son? All South Zone, all SBC, two time team captain, and two time MVP. Margo's volleyball talents have spanned the globe. A two time ABCA phenom and MVP of the USA Girls Junior National Championship, all tournament team. Margo has been ranked as a top 10 setter in the nation, in the nation, for the last three years. Also known in St. John's Volleyball as the Margot. There are to describe what you have meant to the program and how much you will have been missed. Selfishly, I am so sad you have to go, but let me know, let me let you know that she really is sad to see you go. She's expressed that to me. So, Margot Manning. Hard work and never quit attitude 
not only helped the Mavericks win an SBC championship, but also helped her to achieve her goal to play field hockey at the next level. The Bears are lucky to have her, and we're sorry to see you again. I'm so thankful to be sitting here today and would be here without the help and support of my coaches, friends, and family. Thank you to my coaches at St. John's, Coach Elliott, Coach Mercado, Coach Graysville, Coach B, and Coach Dion, and of course, Fine Step and Coach Campbell. Also, thank you to my coaches at Texas Pride, Tina and Adam, and a very special thank you to my teammates at both St. John's and Pride, and most importantly, thank you to my parents. I love you all. Go Bears! Next up is Michael O'Brien. Senior captain of the 2023 Maverick baseball team, Michael O'Brien is well known in the SBC. But most of the SBC South zone, not just for his golden glove at first base and his dominant presence on the mound, especially recently, but also his strong bat in the box, where he kept off his St. John's career this past weekend, going four for five with a single, a double, and two triples. <laughs> he, he got his money from his mother, right? Here. <laughs> She's sitting right here. Cut it, Coach, Coach Evans. This year, Michael took the mound in three conference games, throwing three straight complete games, that's 21 straight innings, and winning against Houston Christian, John Cooper, and in dramatic passion, with a final out punch, bested Kim K in the opening round of the SBC tournament. A memory that will live at St. John's forever. Michael O'Reilly. Uh, I want to say thank you to Coach Allergan for working so hard to put all this on, and the other Coach Allergan for guiding me through these last two years. Uh, thank you to Coach Everts for dealing with me for the last, I think, six or seven years. Um, thank you to my teammates for all your support over the last four years. And a big thanks to my parents, most importantly, for everything you guys have done for me. I love you guys. Go Jumbos. Now in the game, Ben Perkins, Wesleyan University, football. Ben's talents on the field have earned him varsity letters in football since his sophomore year. Named a finalist for the Touchdown Club Lineman of the Year, he was named the Texas Private School Second Team SBC Defensive Super Team this year. Quoting Coach Veldry, the words that best describe Ben are growth and discipline. His hunger for the game and work ethic grew every year. I and the rest of the coaching staff are proud to be a small part of his big journey. Ben Perkins. First of all, I'd like to thank my mom and my dad for being there for me every step of the way. I'd like to thank my coaches, Coach Veltry, Coach Ballard, Coach Lanza, and especially Coach Campbell for providing me with support and just teaching me. I'd like to thank Carrie and JJ, Allied Trainers, for keeping my knee intact. And I like to thank my teammates. Thanks. Roll cards. Former second grade participant in Coach Whitmore's PE class, <laughs> Kate and Perry will now go to Mountain University to play football, especially to kick it. as the kicker punter on the football team, a defensive specialist on the soccer team, and a spreader jumper for the track team. Quoting Coach Beltry, Caden in a simple word is dedicated. He put in the time and the effort to hone his craft 
and all of his hard work is paying off. Let's all learn from Kate, Kate Perry. I'd like to give a special, special thank you to uh, my parents and my family for always getting me to camps and helping teach me how to kick because in the beginning of it, it was just my dad and I on the field for school learning how to kick footballs. And uh, special, another special thank you to my coaches and teammates, especially my snapper, Max Garza, and my holder, Robert Reiser, for, uh, because you know without them, I couldn't do my job. And uh, again, thank you to everybody who spent time with me on the field, whenever, you know, it was just me, hot field, and some footballs helping me shag and snap and whatever it was to uh, get it done. Thank you. We need another picture of you three bumping heads together. <laughs> we have Tim's Rice University cross country and track and field. honors this year in cross country. Winning three of his four SBC medals at this spring's SBC track and field championships, William was one of the team's most outstanding athlete. He will graduate with his name on the Maverick track and field record book in the 4x8, the DMR, and the 800 meter run with a time of 154.5. Quoting Coach Richie Mercado, the rate of William's growth and development as a competitive runner is exponential as I've seen in all my years of coaching. His performance in cross country and his record setting 800 meter time this spring truly demonstrates what a strong, confident, and incredible successful distance runner he has become. We wish him so well. William? First of all, I want to thank my parents for sending me out in second grade, um, getting that love going. Uh, I want to thank my siblings for motivating me all the way along the way. Um, I want to thank Coach Allegan, Coach Balderas, and Coach Ricardo um, for just teaching me how to, how to be the best athlete I can be. Sonia Zang, Princeton University in softball. A two-time softball captain and master craftsman of her sport, Sonia was All-South Zone sophomore year, All-South Zone and All-SBC junior year. Named the 2022 White Houston Private School Hitter of the Year and finalist for Player of the Year. Sonny graduates with a school record four-year batting average of 620. The, the softball team's most valuable player, freshman, sophomore, junior, and they haven't had their team thing yet, so we'll have to hold off. Quoting Coach A, Sonia plays each and every game with emotion and love for the sport. Emotionally, physically, and mentally, she is always prepared to compete. Sonia. Um, I'm super blessed to be standing here today, and it wouldn't be for these people. Thank you for my mom. Thank you to my mom and dad, my club coach, Coach Ray, my hitting and fielding coach, Coach Benny, my high school coaches, Coach A, Coach Zuner, and Coach Jones, and Coach Ernie, the trainers, Carrie, JJ, and Clydesdale, my club and softball, club and high school softball teammates, and my friends. Go Tigers! Well, there's one left. It's Victoria Zara going to Cornell University for what? Tennis. A four-year letter winner, Victoria has been undefeated her entire Maverick career. A tennis team winning back-to-back -back SBC championships. 
Like Sonia, she has also been her team's most valuable player, freshman, sophomore, junior, yeah, probably senior. I guess we will have to attend next Thursday's Maverick Athletic Awards ceremony to find out if these girls make it, and I think they will. Back to Sonia, coding coach to Z. While displaying great character and the utmost respect for her opponents, Victoria is the most dominant tennis player I have ever watched play in our entire conference. Not only has she never lost a match, she never lost a set. Victoria is out.